Hello you guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about iOS 18 Beta 4 out now so you can download it right away and upgrade. Before we get into the features and other updates, let's talk about how big was this update. So this update was about 1.38 gigabytes. And so we got a lot of new updates that Apple did release today from iOS 15.8. RC to iOS 17.6 RC. And for the betas from macOS 15 beta 4 to iOS 18 beta 4. So all HomePod Vision Pro, tvOS, watchOS, and iPadOS are out now. And dive right in and take a look at the build numbers if we go to our settings, general, about. And so for the build number, it's 22A5316J. So this update does have a modem update. So if you had any issues with connectivity wise with Wi-Fi or cellular, that fixes this problem. So in this beta, we still haven't had any Siri intelligence coming out. Hopefully we'll be seeing it very soon in the next beta. Apple did put on their website that they are telling developers to get ready because they will be releasing it to developers very soon. So RCS messages is now enabled as well for more countries. So if we go to our settings and we go down to our apps and we search in messages. And if we go to RC messaging, we tap on that is now enabled for more countries. So such as the, U the UK, Canada, and possibly others. So Apple in their settings, if we go to our settings here and we scroll down and now we see iCloud there in the bottom for one of the options. And so now this kind of disappears. I don't know why Apple would put it there. You will normally find it back here in iCloud and it's still gonna be in the same place as before. But now it has, it has a cool little animation there. So if you saw, if you open iCloud, it has a cool little iCloud animation there. So now in this update, we have a different kind of hidden folder. So it looks way different than it did in the last beta. So now it has kind of like an outline of the apps that you might have in that folder. As before, we only had the little eye with the line across through it. And it still does require Face ID to unlock it. There we go. It does require Face ID to unlock it still. And now I just unlocked it. It doesn't show the um, outlines because it would show your apps that you might have in that folder there. Also a little small update to the stocks app if we take a look at the stocks app now it's more kind of defined as well the lines that used to cross through in the middle there you could still see them but they're very you can still see the, the lines crossing through them but they're not as obvious as they were in the previous betas in control center apple did update a new design and look for their stopwatch and alarm so if we swipe down here i did add them here in the bottom so now it looks much more lighter and thinner i guess the design and look to them than before back in beta 3 the alarm clock was more like highlighted and colored colored in now we just get kind of a out an outline of the icons apple did add a new button to control center so we press and hold add control and then a bluetooth the bluetooth power toggle so it doesn't do anything right now you could add it to it but it just doesn't show it or make you do anything to it. Maybe just make a shutdown completely from the Bluetooth instead of turning off and on selected like devices. This will completely shut off Bluetooth instead of going through here. You could just easily just tap it and it'll shut it off. Apple did also remove one of their icons. So if we go down to control center, press and hold, add control. And if we search in music, it's no longer there. Now we only have sounds, recognize music as well with Shazam. So we no longer have the music toggle that we used to in beta three. So if you do have the flashlight as your action button, and if we lock our screen here real quick and press and hold, it does bring the animation to the lock screen and kind of a new animation there. On beta three, we had a different animation beta four. Now we have a nice smoother and very cool looking animation. So now we could easily just turn on and off. And now if you notice, the flashlight does dim. The animation flashlight does dim when we dim our flashlight in the background. So it does follow the brightness and then the width. That kind of stays the same, but it does follow how bright and dim you have the flashlight and the animation will brighten and dim with <laughs> the flashlight. If we go back to our settings here and go back to apps and then 
messages back down we do have a satellite connection demo so now we can use now you can use iMessages and text messages when cellular and Wi-Fi are not available so it looks like the satellite does work on the selected carriers I think they did Apple did say just for a year only so Apple did update their emoji picker now so if we go to our little emojis here now we could send multiple stickers at once before in beta three we could only send one or two uh, only one sticker per kind of message but now as as before when we clicked on a different sticker it had to replace it and switch it out so now you could add multiple stickers to your text to make it as a continuous text and add more emojis to it if you wanted to and get to send that off as a normal text so if we go into our photos here now we have a new little toggle or description of how photos work so you could do it shows you here swipe for more swipe between left and right view favorites collection and photos with a swipe so in this update the animations here are much much smoother in the past beta so if we go between different apps scroll down up and down between them so it's much smoother animation so it doesn't lag and bug out like we did in previous betas so if we go back to our photos here and if we click on one of these photos that i took of this nice little key little cat and uh, we kind of pinch and zoom it doesn't lose its quality of image as in the past when you pinched and zoom sometimes you had a low degrade of quality but now it's keeping its its high quality images in the photos so if you pinched and zoom here it does keep a nice high quality image and if you keep going in it does degrade even further depending on how how much you zoom pinch and zoom into the photo apple is now fixing up that problem where you just pinch and zoom it still keeps it it's nice high quality but like i said the more further you punch in the more less of a quality you get in the photo so now when you customize the tint and dark and light mode there is no longer a bug between those different customizations between light and dark it switches it very smoothly there is no bug or lag between them between them from large to small it does switch very smoothly as in the first beta we had a huge problem between light and dark there was kind of a lag and bug between those two options so now it's a very smooth easy going between different animations here even this little toggle switches between them there's not that of a lag anymore they also fix that screen time bug so when people went into their settings screen time it does show the information i haven't had that bug before in previous betas um, but a lot of people did have that problem where you went into screen time it froze the screen you couldn't even do anything you had to do a hard reset but for me it's been working perfectly fine since the first beta so if we go back in here actually if we close it settings let's see what it does screen time took me directly right into my information there so if you had that bug before please let me know down below and if it's fixed that problem also let me know so i've noticed that the wallpaper bug is still here so if we swipe down here is our normal wallpaper and if we swipe back up you could tell right up here in the corner on this wallpaper if you swipe up it's the same color swipe up it dims it automatically for some reason that bug is still there they still haven't fixed that wallpaper bug if you swipe up again see how it dims and darkens that wallpaper and it just dims it so that bug is still there a lot of people have been saying that the animations are a little bit buggy and laggy but going between different apps here i haven't had any problems or lag between between the animations going between different pages it's working perfectly fine i don't see any bug or lags between the pages or scrolling through so the overall heat of the device it seems it feels very cool to the touch nothing too crazy when i first did install it there was a little bit of heat of course when downloading a new beta or any software it does use a ton of power and you you'll feel a lot of heat coming off the device but normally as a touch it's very cool to the touch i haven't had any heat problems currently with the device the at all performance of the device so it's very smooth and i haven't had any bugs or problem but if we go to our settings here if we go to battery battery health i'm at 92 percent of 287 charging cycles 
So if you're wanting to install this beta 4, and if you're coming from beta 3, definitely do install beta 4. But if you're waiting for the, for the full release or even the public beta, I would just wait till public beta 2, which will fix any problems, bugs, securities, and other issues like that. It looks like currently we're on like a weekly schedule of now these betas coming out. So we might be seeing beta 5 next following Monday or Tuesday. We also might be seeing the public iOS 17.6 as well on Monday or Tuesday. So that's it for you, this video, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is kind of a quick video walkthrough of beta 4 out now. You could install it right away, or you could always wait till public beta 2 which will fix any bugs, glitches, any refinement of the system performance-wise, battery life as well. Well, that's it for this video, you guys. If you guys did like this video, hit the like, hit the like button down below, subscribe if you haven't yet already. And if you do like this wallpaper here, I would leave it in the link down below. And that is it just for walking through beta 4, performance batteries, and other glitches, stuff like that has been fixed in this beta, then beta 3. I would suggest if you are on the beta 3, update to beta 4, or wait for the public release on hopefully next Monday or Tuesday. But again, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't yet already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.